As a recent college grad, you are likely among the most misinformed demographic regarding the hiring process. This misinformation makes your job search much harder than it needs to be. Throughout my career as a human resources executive, I hired hundreds of recent college grads for entry-level jobs. I've seen it all when it comes to college students' resumes, and most of it wasn't very good. Even though the candidates themselves had what it takes to succeed at the job. So in no particular order, here are some mistakes recent college grads make and what you should do instead. My list of don'ts include the following. Using a .edu email address. It suggests that your head is still in the school you know, environment. Use a Gmail account instead. Leading with your educational credentials. I know, you just graduated, so having earned that degree is at the top of your mind. But as, as an employer, it doesn't tell me anything about your capabilities. Sure, I want to know that you have a degree if the job opening requires one, but that information goes at the bottom of the resume. I mean, if that's the most important thing you have to offer, it's not saying much. I'd avoid mentioning your GPA. If it's less than spectacular, you risk looking less competent than someone with a 4.0. And if you did have a stellar GPA, you're just showing off. The fact is that a high GPA doesn't necessarily mean that you'll work out as an employee. For that matter, there's no point in listing the courses that you took. That tells employers nothing about your capabilities. To demonstrate your capabilities, I want you to develop a section on your resume titled academic projects. Include in it projects you worked on, whether group projects or independent research that relate to the industry you want to work in. I've provided some great samples in the document titled academic projects to give you ideas of what you should include. Now let's talk about work experience. If you're like most college students, you've worked at service jobs like being a cashier or a camp counselor. It's important to let employers know that you held down jobs while earning your degree, but those jobs have little or nothing to do with the career you just got educated for. However, any work you did, whether part-time or during summers, that relates to your chosen field should be included. And if you were lucky enough to have had an internship, that goes under the work experience heading. To see how to explain that you worked without going into detail about jobs that aren't relevant to your career, check out the document titled College Student Resumes. And to avoid the heartache of rejection, make sure that the jobs you apply for are entry level. I've seen too many recent grads apply for mid-level manager jobs, so read those job descriptions carefully.